Have you ever watched your favorite TV show and wondered, where does the music come from? Well, for me, turns out it's right around the corner. Welcome to We Live It, You'll Love It, the show where I get to introduce you to some of my community's most successful and inspiring people. My name's Nate. I'm a local filmmaker, and I've teamed up with the Economic Development Corporation of North Simcoe so that I can connect with all kinds of inspiring and successful people within our community. Today, I'm in Little Lake Park, where I'm gonna meet with Marlon Gibbons, a music composer with some pretty significant credits who lives right here in Midland. Over time, um, I've had placements on like Bachelor, Bachelorette, Temptation Island, CNN, Dateline, uh, Amazing Race, uh, Dancing with the Stars. Uh, a lot of um, reality television uses the kind of stuff that, that I write, um, uh, as well as various ads and commercials around the, around the globe too. I grew up in a music family. Um, most of my family's from the, my extended family's from the East Coast. So, you know, the, the kitchen parties, the kitchen Kayleys and that kind of thing. So I was always involved in music in one way or another. Um, but professionally speaking, after high school, um, I decided to go um, for music production and audio engineering. And where I went to school was just outside of Hamilton, so it was a few hours away. Um, it was a great experience. Uh, of course, I was doing what I love to do. However, it was it was still the city, city life, and um, I think that's great to to visit. And for some people, it's great to live in. Um, I prefer the beauty of of this. Um, I just for me. A friend had forwarded me. Um, a contest, a link to a contest. It was a video game for, it was supposed to come out on the PlayStation 2, I think it was at that time. Um, and it was a contest to have your music featured in the in the game if you, if you won. And as luck would have it, I won. And um, it surprised me, it was great. It was you know on top of the world, which is also what the name of the song was. Um, and what happened was they sent me, um, they said there would be a, a prize. <clears throat> and they sent me a check, a really nice check. And that is what kind of set a light bulb off and, and re I realized that maybe there's more to this. That, that was the first time I had sold my music, really. I didn't know what this industry was. There was, I was new to it. I didn't know it even really existed. I just knew I got paid for my music and I was excited about that and I wanted to know how to do more of it. And as I started going down that path, I started meeting more people and slowly my music started to get picked up and, and placed and used um, and in TV shows and, and media projects and um, it slowly unraveled and it's been, it's been well over a decade now um, and I do it professionally and full time and from the comfort of my hometown and you know, I have a family here now and I don't have to fly to LA and, and uh, um, you know all these other places around the world, I can do it here and, and I love that. For the most part I can do what I need to do here and uh, you know, again leverage the internet and a lot of my um, meetings and stuff are Skype meetings or phone calls or texts and technology right. I can put all that stuff down and if I want and go for a walk by the water in any direction that you know take five minutes to get to the water and uh, as we stand here, you know, 10 minutes from, five minutes from my home. Um, yeah, this is just, it, it's kind of worked out great. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about Marlin, you can check out his YouTube channel here or click the link in the description. Also, thanks to the Economic Development Corporation of North Simcoe for sponsoring this series. If there's anything you need to know about the area, check out their website. It's got so much information, edcns.ca. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell, and I'll see you in the next one.